I think to me the purple looks best. What's going on guys, Petrol Juice here, and uh, today I'm gonna give you a little video on how I wired up the, the Govi lighting kit for the Kia Fortes. Um, this is one of the tighter or smaller vehicles that I've had, so to wire this up was difficult, but it was definitely doable. Um, the only difficult thing was, I don't know if you can tell here, but the gap here is a lot more accessible than the gap here on the passenger side. So once we get to the wiring that I explained to you on the passenger side, you're going to need very, very tiny hands in there. And it's, it's very difficult, but nonetheless, we're going to jump right into it. Um, so this kit here is very, very nice. You can select all of the colors that you want from here. You can have it sync up to music. Um, so as music is playing, it changes lights according to, you know, the rhythm and the beat, which is pretty nice. It comes with 3M vinyl on the back, so you can stick it wherever you want, or you can drill it wherever you want. I highly recommend just using the 3M. It's just as fine. Um, so this is the head unit, and this is where I placed it. So the head unit itself, these have the three buttons, the on and off switch, the cycling switch for the colors, and the brightness button. I figured this was the best spot to place it, if you don't mind, one wire just hanging here, plugging straight into the 12 volt. Once I put this here, I'm able to reach the USB and also wrap around this whole middle unit, wrap all the way back around and end here. This is the end. Right underneath. You're gonna stick the 3M onto here so it sticks. You don't see it while you're driving. Then you're gonna hide the wire behind the dash here, run it all the way to the back and I hit it behind this panel and then you can literally just tuck it underneath everything here. So as you're going along, you're gonna have the wire loose, just tuck it, tuck it underneath and it's gonna fit just fine. Don't be afraid to break the plastics. Nothing is gonna break. Just tuck it right in between here with your fingers or if you have a pry tool kit, it might be a little bit easier. But for me, it was just fine. So again, this is one end that you're gonna see in the kit. Plug this one end, tuck it behind the plastics. Once you get to the console area here, it's a little bit difficult. But as you can see, I have a little bent. It's just very hard to reach. But I figured this was the best spot to put it. I don't mind it sticking a little bit and you know, the wire showing. So I hit it underneath here. These are for the passengers. Stuck it on the side of this and then kept tucking it underneath. It's a little bit difficult back here too. Don't be afraid, nothing's gonna break. It bends very easily. Just tuck it underneath. Towards the end of the cable, you can see this here. This is one of the cables. This is the hardest part of this whole thing. I basically had to force my hand in between this here and push the seat all the way back. I couldn't fit this module in between the seats, so I figured it would light up this area very well if I put it here. So I tucked it as best as I could next to the seat and inside the console. It's not focusing, but I tucked it as much as I could into this plastic console. Put the 3M on here. This doesn't go anywhere, it sticks. Stuck the module here. Hit as much as I could underneath. And then the very end of the wire, we're getting to the other end here. Tuck it all along the plastic, same thing we did with the driver's side, and stick it right here. I stuck it on this end piece here that's next to the AC vent. Nothing's gonna happen, don't worry. Then I plugged it right into the USB. And with this USB, I could turn it off and on whenever I want. With the car, you know, let's say if it's daytime, I just wanna turn it off quick, I just select that, because I'm not seeing it anyway. But at night, I just turn it right back on and it illuminates the car very well. So that is the lighting kit for the Kia Forte GT. I hope it helps out. It's just a little tight to do it in this car. But let me know if you have any questions. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what I did and what I believed were the best spots in this car.
Granted, it's not, you know, completely hidden, but as you're driving from the driver's side, you don't see anything. I mean, this is mainly for me and I love it. And then when people get in the car, they love it too. You know, do they really care about the wires? Not really. This is all you're gonna see from, you know, the passenger side here and illuminates it very well. It illuminates for the passenger back here. And uh, yeah, it's a nice lighting kit. It's better than hard wiring anything and you could take this out whenever you want. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.